What's up guys? You know, I've been opening this vlog the same way for the past at least three years, so I figure it's time to change it up, so here's the new intro. So what do you think about that? Uh, just threw it together, thought it was kind of cool, so that's going to be the way I open the vlogs from now on. This one uh, is one of those videos in the last video that I mentioned that doesn't really have an ending. It kind of does, but basically, uh, unfortunately, I lost like all my SD cards, so I lost pretty much all my time-lapse footage for this video. But I still got a good storyline, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to piece this together and make it into a complete video. Yeah, so thank you for sticking with me through this one. Uh, this one might be kind of boring, but uh, I appreciate it if you watch all the way through. Also, uh, I'm going to get it right off the bat. I uh, was looking through my YouTube analytics and noticed that 75% of the people that watch these videos actually aren't uh, subscribed. And uh, so make sure you subscribe for more of the content. I'm planning on producing more each week. And this is just going along with that. So make sure you're subscribed. Be sure you're liking the videos and commenting on the bottom. I try to comment on, or I try to answer all the comments that I can. I don't normally check it, so it might take me a while to get back to you, but I will check. If you have a question or something, I'd be glad to help you out. Uh, hopefully it's something I know, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so enjoy this video. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it as best I can. So uh, let's see how it goes. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Build a Break Garage episode. This one's gonna be a little bit different because I actually filmed some of this uh, in August and it is currently April. Uh, so it never really made it to the cut uh, because I stopped filming uh, after I got halfway through. And uh, the reason for that was because I was just freaking miserable. Uh, I hate doing fuel tanks on these cars. I really hate doing fuel tanks on these cars. And I was super frustrated because after all the work I did and I got it back in the car, it literally worked for another 10 minutes and then it died. Uh, so I had to find a way to make the car run. So I ended up buying these external pumps and hooking them up in line. And they worked for a while, uh, but they're cheap eBay pumps. And literally maybe like, I got like three months of use out of like each one of them. Uh, so I highly don't recommend buying a cheap pump. So now I do have a brand new Brand new 255 wall bro to go in actual wall bro So uh, I am currently in the process of taking the car back apart uh, What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you guys the video uh, From back in August and I'll get you caught up to that point and then once that stops which is Literally right as I'm about to get the tank back in for the first time uh, Then I'll cut back in here and we'll start going over what we're doing today. Just so you know where we're at today I got the back bumper off already getting ready to get the fender off and I got the tank drained. So uh, Yeah, so I'll see you guys after August All right, so today is Tuesday I uh, got off work at 3:30. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the car. Uh, what I need to do to it this time is I'm swapping the tank from the turbo car that I crashed a couple years ago into Midori because that tank has a Walboro 255 in it. And currently with the new fuel injector setup, I believe I'm having a problem where right as the solenoid is opening to uh, open the fuel solenoid, I think it's dropping the fuel pressure for a momentary second because the car it basically stops for a second and then it just hits you all at once. And what I'm thinking is the fuel pressure is dropping for a quick second and then it's dropping the it's stopping the fuel pressure for the main injectors and causing it to kind of stutter for a second. So with the 255, uh, it is also a high pressure unit. It should it should it should be more than enough fuel pump for this car and that should probably fix my problem I'm hoping so all I got to do is drain all the fuel out of this thing uh, and then go ahead and get the tank down and hopefully I can do that without taking off the rear diffuser I'm really hoping I can other than that uh, should be a pretty straightforward uh, thing I already got the car jacked up really high in the air also you guys haven't really seen it because I haven't shown it yet but I got some new wheels for uh, these are 17 inch centerline forged storm wheels 
Uh, these are actually billet aluminum wheels. You can kind of see the machining marks in them. They are super nice. I've been looking for a set forever, and uh, I really like having a polished wheel on here finally. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on removing that fuel tank. First things first, I gotta drain all the fuel out. Uh, so that, well, at least as much as I can out. And uh, hopefully it'll be nice and light and this will be an easy process. Fingers crossed. Um, I, uh, the last time I did this, I said I'd never do it again. So uh, here I am doing it again. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, uh, so a quick update. I got the fuel line off the fuel filter and made it so that way the line can be fed into this container which I had to go buy because all my gas cans are apparently filled but currently it is pump I got the I got the relay jump so it is currently pumping fuel into the tank so of course I did this with a full tank of gas so I needed to get two five gallon tanks so hopefully I don't overfill these yeah so I'm gonna get the tank empty and then we start from there okay well uh, it's been about an hour uh, I haven't filmed shit because it's a miserable job and I haven't set up the GoPro but I'm pretty damn sure that changing out this fuel pump is gonna do something because uh, this that's the flow that's coming out of that thing like I don't I don't even know I I literally don't even know how the hell this car was running because that it's seriously taken over an hour just to fill up these cans and I mean you can actually hear the fuel pump It's been make. it's not just going low, it's been making that sound the entire time it's been on. So I'm pretty damn sure the fuel pump has been going for a while now. So putting in this 255 is gonna completely change the car, I think. I don't know if it's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing, cause uh, I got some really big injectors in it and I don't know if it's gonna even idle um, with uh, the new pump in. So fingers crossed that it still works good. Um, and then I just gain a shit ton of power. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this fuel pump and I'm gonna drop this tank. And uh, I already got the other tank in the garage. And it's ready to go in. So now it's just a matter, like I literally had to tear apart the whole car. Like half the, I had to take the bumper off and take the rear fender off just to get this freaking fuel neck nozzle like off the old tank. Pain in the ass. I mean, oh, I hate doing this job, but uh, I'm really glad I'm doing it now because I really don't know how the hell it was running on the stock pump still. So yeah, uh, look forward to results. Okay, and I know I'm not filming it, but I'm going to at least keep you guys up to date. I got the new tank prepped. Old tank is out. There's still a little bit of gas in it. Um, I have to transfer that over. But as you can see, this is where the car is for day one. i am basically got everything out that I need to get out, and now it's time to put that back in. But it's 7 o'clock, and I go to bed at 8, and I need to take a shower because I'm covered in E85. And uh, I gotta go to work tomorrow, so I will continue this hopefully tomorrow if I have the motivation. Hopefully we'll get it running tomorrow and actually see how the new pump is. So I'm really excited for that. I'll be seeing you guys in like two seconds tomorrow. Okay, and here we are on day two. I came out earlier this morning and painted up underneath the, where the gas tank normally sits black again to try to coat it a little bit better than stock. So now I'm gonna go ahead and throw this tank in and then I'll update you guys uh, further on that. Hi guys, well uh, I got the car up in the air and it's all up on jack stands and everything. So next thing to do is start disconnecting the tank from the car and then uh, should be just a matter of dropping it at that point. So hopefully it's empty enough that it's not too heavy. So I'll check with you guys when I get the tank out. So far I've got the filler neck out, the lines are all disconnected. Pretty much it's just dropping the tank now. So let's hope that goes good. Okay, and just like that, I got the tank out. It actually came out super fucking easy, which means it's gonna be a pain in the ass coming back out. But it's out, so now it's time to change the pump, and uh, I'll zoom you guys in a little bit to show you what I'm doing. Well, I hope you caught that in time lapse. I got the pump all changed out. And the tank is ready to go back in. I'm just doing this as fast as I can. That's why I'm not explaining a whole lot of stuff, but uh, hopefully she goes in smooth, so we'll see. All right, well that went in a lot easier than I thought it was going to. I guess third time's a charm, but uh, the tank's in, it's strapped. I don't have to have the jack under there, but I haven't pulled it out yet. 
So now it's just hooking everything back up, putting the body panels back on, and uh, taking it for a drive and seeing uh, if this new fuel pump's gonna work for us or not. So, yeah. Uh, so this is day number two of this weekend, day like three in this video. But uh, last night I got the tank in and I went to test it. Luckily I didn't put all the body panels back on. I've still got the back bumper and everything off. And I put five gallons of fuel in it and went to go turn it on, no fire. Uh, I have power going to the system, but the tank, uh, pump is not running. So I am going to drop the tank again. Uh, see if my connection is good on the tank, the fuel sender and everything, because uh, I think maybe the wire got pulled or something, because it should be working. So I'm going to go ahead and get this gas back out and drop the tank again, and hopefully this finally fixes it. Hi right, guys, I had to run out and uh, do something for my dad really quick, but uh, I'm back, and I luckily, right before I, figured, right before I left, I figured out that there is something wrong with this connection right here in this hat, because I plugged in my that has a stock pump in it and it worked just fine so definitely something wrong with this hat so I'm gonna switch over this uh, wall row to the other one figure out how to get this gas tank empty and then hopefully get it back in the car pretty smooth so fingers crossed okay and just like that I got the new tank or the tank back in with the new the new wall row 244 255 yeah car runs it was that top hat issue now I got to put everything back together and go take it for a test drive so Fingers crossed it lasts longer than the last time I did this when it was like five minutes and I filled up the gas and it died. So hopefully I make it home this time. Hi right, guys. Well, uh, I just, uh, I forgot to film, but uh, the car currently is working. I just got back from Woodward for the first time. I think the crank position sensor is going now because it only revs up to about 5,200 RPM before it hits a bar brick wall. And uh, it's done this before, so hopefully it's the same fix. And my gas gauge doesn't want to work. Uh, it works intermittently. It works sometimes but not all the time so that's also like I know I, I installed it right so I think it just needs to get recalibrated or something but uh, hopefully that's an easy fix but anyway thank you for watching this video I uh, appreciate it and uh, I hope it was entertaining enough for you guys to continue to watch because I'm sure this is probably a long one all right and that is all the footage that I have uh, basically, uh, long story short, at the end, I went through like three or four different pumps over the course of a year putting this all together. Uh, I ended up just getting a stock replacement, a uh, brand new hole, sending unit, everything. My gas gauge still doesn't freaking work. Uh, it bounces from here and there to time to time, but basically I'm going off a of mileage on the odometer. So basically the car gets about 13 to 12 miles to the gallon, so it has a 12 gallon tank. So on 10 gallons, it should get me about 120, 130 miles. So I fill it up before I get to 100 and it stays full. So it's uh, working out pretty well so far, but I'm not taking this tank down again. So it's gonna have to be that way. So yeah, so thank you for very much for sticking with me, watching this whole video. Um, I do appreciate it a lot, considering that this one really doesn't have a good storyline. So I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And before to looking at the next video, which is working on Scotty's car, I believe. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Peace.